you're growing a lot of brassicas, you've got to be on a four-year, like you've got to rotate um, away from the pests, away from the root problems. Make sure you're doing, I think that's the do, the big do if you're doing a lot of brassicas. So you have to have kind of a lot of space to be doing that amount of like, we've kind of got like four different blocks that are brassicas moving in the field. I don't know, what do you guys think? And then use your brassicas. Does, what do you, what don't you grow? <laughs> Kohlrabi. Yeah. What don't you grow? <laughs> Napa. No, oh, no, on, Napa's, Napa's good. Napa's good. Uh, no. <laughs> Kohlrabi. Mm -hmm. You don't grow collards. And you do grow spigarillo. You do grow spigarillo. <laughs> <Spigarilla. laughs> now, is that specific to your area here, why you would say that, or just in general? Probably, like, maybe if we were, like, in the south of America, we'd think collards were hot, but th yeah. they're not. We yeah, try. They don't, yeah, they're just, they just not hot. Like them. <laughs> like, it's two people in Squamish you buy them, right? Yeah, we can, we can bunch, like, 20 bunches for two markets over the weekend and not sell out. Like, it's just not, not hot. And we used to grow them for the juice bars, um, but they... We don't really like doing special orders, so it's not, yeah, yeah it's not really worth it. The duty, so. What do you guys say, Ari? He said, don't grow coal, coal rabbit. <laughs> so that's oh. it. <laughs> she said to rotate, do rotate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Also, plant like cauliflower and broccoli in um, wet cells or water on the ready. Yeah, they definitely. If it's hot that. out, because they'll. Wilts really quickly if it's too hot and you're planting the seedlings because that happened this yeah. year. Yeah. But we save them with watering cans. <laughs> yeah, that's don't a plant. Don't dry transplant. Yeah. So I guess that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Um, do's, John. You got it. Yeah. I don't know. The do's is definitely the cultivating regiment. You know, the finger weeding and then spring hose right after. That's definitely been working for us. Like as far as cultivating. Yeah, that's been the move. Yeah, this it's pretty cool for or basket weed first. Yeah, basket and weed. That kind of combo really covers all your bases. Yeah. Um, I think you guys yeah, wouldn't have there's like a <laughs> new <laughs> love affair of the Bezzeridi spring hose happening on this farm. Yeah, yeah they're, they're wondering. Really they well. just love the Bezzeridis. They're like, oh, but don't Bezzeridi the kohlrabi. Kohlrabi <laughs> does not like it. Oh, really? We've also or said, maybe don't grow kohlrabi. Just the intentionally kohlrabi. kill it. Oops, yeah. so hated. Kohlrabi <laughs> doesn't like it. Yeah. So maybe it wasn't an issue with the spring hose. It was just the person cultivating it decided they didn't <laughs> want the kohlrabi. Oh, no, and just we buried them. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there could have been a little bit of that. Uh, don't. Oh, yeah. What was that? Well, there's a bunch of brassica weed. Don't put your brassicas in that field. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That was definitely a new, a new don't for, for us. Are we reading the donuts? What? No, Not donuts. yet. <laughs> With do's and don'ts of growing brassicas. What's your, what's your do or don't? Oh, the do. Well, the, I'd say do really healthy transplants. Oh, that's Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, kind of. Two yeah. things okay. you need. Oh, I... <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 like often be, you know, just a, a, a you know, just strong enough not to kill your plant. And if you've got this huge variance throughout the, that was our problem at the beginning of the year. We kind of yeah. had troubles with our transplants. If you have this huge variance, it's really hard to know where to set up your gear. Um, so yeah, healthy, consistent transplants. That's a do. That are also wet. And wet, oh my god, yeah. wet plants going in the ground. That's, that's what I actually said, just so you know, it's very important for everyone. It doesn't feel as important to John. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we're big on credit around here. <laughs> What's a don't? Brassicas. Brad threw kohlrabi under the bus. 
Oh, just you don't said don't grow it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't grow it. Don't grow it. Don't grow it. I'd go as far as don't hack your eye, but... Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm like, yeah. like, doing one today. After <laughs> 290 oh, that's true. I thought it was a kohlrabi of all things. There was a kohlrabi and a hakurai. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> like, what a name. <laughs> yeah, you could do one of those. Yeah. Absolutely. Once yeah. they're cut off, it's pretty similar, guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's a real, what's a don't? For, uh... For growing? Yeah. yeah. I think the rotation thing is a big one. But well, that's Absolutely. up to you. Yeah. I, well, don't I, don't know. I, I also think Double like negative. don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> yeah. Um, I wouldn't consider trying brassicas without an awareness of like what pests like them and how you're going to deal with pest problems going mm. ahead. Because if you're growing an acre of brassicas, you're going to have brassica pests. Mm -hmm. And like we've, it's taken us a few years, we've, but this year we really got a great monitoring system thanks to Nikki over there um, who worked for an IPM company um, and that's kind of brought our IPM to like the next level but just monitoring for that because the worst thing is like a whole bunch of um, wormy cabbage or cauliflower or broccoli that's got like the cabbage looper in it or something like that you've just got to be it. Um, yeah don't sell don't sell a broccoli head with a big Green worm in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Bell wormy vegetables. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Good, good advice. Yeah. Especially brassicas. <laughs> yeah. Do cultivate every week. Yeah. And check yeah, for bugs every week. Check and checks for bugs every it. week. Yeah, don't skip it. Yeah. yeah. I also think I could never go back to not harvesting into wheelbarrows. Like, mm. don't ever drag bins through like your brassicas. Oh, nice. Just like yeah. get a wheelbarrow yeah. and save your back. Yeah. It's really nice. It's yeah, that I I agree there. Like the the wheelbarrows are just like game changers. Mm -hmm. That was a Jason Weston tip. Um, oh yeah, like they harvest everything Jason into Coffee. wheelbarrows, and we when we brought that in, it's just awesome. Um, not only are you not bending as much, but you're not carrying the bins, which is really cool. And this year we're trying not to load, like not to create really heavy bins. We're trying to max out at thirty pounds, so that no one. Yeah. And our growing system set up in sort of a way that, you know, we run 30 inch, we run three 15 inch rows or, or two 30s on a bed, which typically would mean 60 inch centers. That would be sort of the standard move, but we run 72 inch centers to make room for that wheelbarrow, which has been helpful. Yeah, yeah room for it. It's an extra foot. Yeah, more space. Yeah. Well, Brad was saying don't plant, don't plant into a... Uh, Weedy fields, essentially, right? With that, with the, yeah. I think you called it brass holes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Specifically, yeah. with the brass, brass holes, yeah. like <laughs> nothing's worse particular. than like, I guess it's not really a brassica crop, but planting in some of our uh, like arugulas and turnips and things, and having these emerging crops that look just like the weed, yeah. and you can't tell the difference except for carry cans mm. sometimes, <laughs> and like you know, it, it's not that's not ideal, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, knowing your weeds before. Turning into a field, but ideally planting into a stale field um, or or a stale bed, like in our case, depending. But we're creating that for our greens plantings because of the brassica weed pressure, and it's just a wild brassica. But in our terms, to that no nod to like rotation, it's not ideal. But unfortunately, the brassica weed is just rampant um, in this part of the valley, so we don't get to just like have a four-year rotation with no brassica lead in the field we're moving to, but mm -hmm. we're, we're trying to stomp it out with cover cropping for next year's weeds. Um, we'll see. But, yeah. Other, I, I don't harvest in the heat. That's a yeah. very simple don't. Yeah. For all those brassicas, for sure. Yeah, no one, no one likes it, plants yeah. or people. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. plants in particular. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, especially the brassicas, the broccoli. Is, you know, do give your kale bunch a little hug when you're almost done with it, and then it kind of gets all the leaves closer together, and makes a nice tight bunch and a nice shape. Yeah. We do that too. Every, every, every bunch. bunch. Every bunch. Yeah. Every bunch every gets, gets a little a cuddle. <laughs> <laughs> These are all made with love. There's a lot of love. Oh, man. <laughs> it's so corny. You guys are losers. <laughs>
they might be hugging the back. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Claire's like a firm handshake. I'm going to make you a t-shirt. Let's be honest. No, I... Oh, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. Do water lots. I think that's fair to say. Like, a basket crop, like, I feel like... There was a year where we all of a sudden we realized like how much water they needed to work out well. And it's a whole lot more water than, well, than, I'm not going to say that anybody would think, but a lot more water than we thought. Like we must, I'm sure we're in the, we're, you know, this is for us and it gets pretty hot, but we're in more in the realm of, you know, they're always talking about an inch of water a week. Like to make our brassicas work well, we, we get definitely, we're a bit more in the two inches of water, especially when things get hot or things just don't work well. Easiest crop to control. Well, I was gonna say easiest crop to control weeds in until this year. Yeah. I like yeah. broccoli and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But it makes still, that culling it gets and there. hand weeding easy because you, you can mm -hmm. see everything. It's not like weeding like something that's super dense, like like carrots or something, where it's like you actually have to think about what you're doing. Yeah, totally. Well, that's a do. Like, give yourself some space yeah. for cultivating gear and you know hose and when yeah. you're gonna when you're gonna need them to reset. And I would say do if you're just transitioning into cultivating, I would say do start with brassicas. You're, you can control the height of the plant that you're starting with, um, and you can control like how you plant your beds. And so that's like, was the crop we were most confident when we started cultivating with the, like- Anytime we're testing a tool, the first place it goes is to a brassica field. Cause they're, they're really, strong transplants that will reroot when they just like just like the brassel it'll reroot if you if you uproot it so it's a good spot to good spot to try stuff out like you said yeah it's a good spot if you're gonna we're always talking to people that are transitioning out of sort of hand tools into into mechanical tools like like we were doing our driven tools and you know some people don't want to do all of it at once and often what we'll recommend as the first go is to you know pull your brassicas out because they're a nice one an easy one. You start with a transplant, so your plant's already bigger than the weeds, and that's the first goal in cultivating. Um, and it's a strong transplant, so it is kind of, I like to say it's an easy one, but we have a hard time to start the season. Yeah, but they also, like, they'll canopy out too at a certain point. Brassicas totally, like, they do exactly. One, yeah. And then you've kind of won, whereas if you were if you were to try cultivating with an onion crop, they never canopy out, so they're a much harder crop to start cultivating on, or like carrots even, um, although I think that's definitely a win. And oh yeah, onions, <laughs> well, but I think, yeah, I think like onions, I would say, are harder than carrots. You've got like, yeah. brassica crops, like, do you, got, do you guys ski at all? Water ski. What's that, water ski? Okay. And snowboard. Well, there's That's like, my there's like snowboard. difficulty levels on runs, and we always say like, the brassicas are like the green circle. Those are like the mellows, and the double black diamond are the onions. Yeah. yeah. And interestingly, the carrots, I feel like they're not our hard crop anymore. Like once you, if you no, stale like, a bed, and a if you black. kill the weeds beforehand, <laughs> just a black. Yeah, just a regular black. You know. It could get dangerous. If yeah, things, yeah, are, yeah. If things go wrong. Yeah, you if could it's get... an icy day or something, you don't want to be in there. <laughs> <laughs> They usually just call the day off. Yeah, but nice groomer, you know, good to go. <laughs> good condition. Yeah. I think that bed you guys were on, there was some yeah, asshole was grass tough. in there. That was just bad. And there's no the one that you guys are weeding right now? Oh, well, that this one bed is done, but that, that was like the young, the young carrots, not the teenage carrots. They've got asshole grass. Yeah, I'm in there right now. Like, it's just kind of, it's not, it's not, the bed that I'm in, I was in there this afternoon. Was, you like might be lot. on the young, young. We're on that. Yeah, Research. Mm -hmm. They're not, yeah, I wouldn't say Body they're quite teenagers yeah, yeah. yet, but they're like, you know, middle. Yeah. But the most important part of the whole segment is <laughs> the ratings of the donuts. Yeah. <laughs> so everyone ate their good. donuts already. Yeah, Out of great. ten, what would you, well, we can go around, everyone can say their, their rating. So we're trying to a donut's already a five. The yeah. donut starts at a five. Is that what I'm hearing? I feel like Tim Hortons are pretty good. Like but that's like, if Tim Hortons is a seven, that's like a well, nine. Why would Tim Hortons are a seven? Well, I, I am. <laughs> <laughs> right, you, you each get to give your own. <laughs> right, you give it a nine, right, Andrew? I give this thing a nine. I want, like, I, yeah, like, I that's like, the yeah. best donut in Pemberton. It's the only to begin donut with. <laughs> 
I appreciate that they've got like that they seem like they're doing all the classics. I go eight and a half. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I go nine for those guys. What do you got? Uh, yeah, I think I'm like eight point five. I think it's a solid day. Yeah. Solid day. <laughs> <laughs> solid day. Yeah, I think the fact that it's got made out of potatoes is pretty cool. Mashed yeah. potatoes is pretty cool. Well, you guys gonna score this? Out. It seems like you got it. All right. What's what's your score? I'll give it an eight and a half. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a popular answer. I, I'd say <laughs> I've never eaten a donut with mashed potato. That's the thing, and for how fluffy that was, I would. I mean, it's at least a solid nine for me, but oh, wow. maybe nine and a half. But from a guy that's eaten a, a few lot. donuts, <laughs> it, I mean, it's unique, right? It's yeah, it's yeah. Just, it, it's it's a little more unique, but yeah, that texture is pretty it's really good. 